Hi, this is Dick Rochefort, pilot trainer for the PA-46, and I wanted to speak with you for a few minutes about the pressurization system on the PA-46. The system, depending upon the engine, uh, uh, receives bleed air uh, one of a couple of ways into the, um, into the cabin, and what this diagram uh, shows here is how that, that pressure is regulated. Uh, probably the, the salient feature is the uh, outflow and safety valves at the back of the aircraft. These are back behind the baggage bay on the aft bulkhead. The outflow valve opens at a, a, pr a pressure differential from the outside air of 5.5. A safety valve, which is the very same part number, just plumbed differently, opens at 5.6. There's a controller uh, which allows the pilot to command a particular cabin altitude. Uh, this illustration uh, points out that there's a relationship between where you set the diamond. It's black in this uh, illustration, but typically it's black. The controller wheel is black and the diamond is, is white, as you know. Uh, we set it at 500 feet above sea level, so this would indicate the position it would be in for a takeoff from a sea level airport. In the window represents air, what we would define as aircraft altitude. And um, what this relationship means is that when you command a 500-foot cabin, your pressure system, when it's working correctly, uh, should deliver to you uh, a sea level a correction of 500-foot cabin until you get to 1 3,000. So with the controller set to 500 feet, uh, well, the way to think about this is you have commanded a 500-foot cabin. And uh, so then the system will deliver what you have commanded unless your uh, system is not working correctly or unless the aircraft climbs above 13. What this means is uh, at 13,000 the cabin reaches a 5.5 psi delta and cannot deliver anymore if the valve is working correctly. Remember now the safety valve opens at 5.6. So it's, it is there strictly to protect the outflow valve or to protect the cabin if the outflow valve fails to open at 5.5. At 5.5 the outflow valve opens. We maintain 5.5 psi cabin until the aircraft descends back down um, to uh, below the 1-3000. A quick look at the manual shows that Piper recommends um, that you reset the aircraft altitude on the inner scale on the cabin controller to 500 feet above the cruise altitude and adjust the cabin rate of climb as desired. All right. Um, they also recommend that you can do that as soon as uh, uh, you uh, begin to uh, 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 climb. And, and in fact, you can. You can dial the cabin up early if you like. My recommendation is that you leave the cabin at 500 feet, leave the command at 500. That way the valve stays open at 5 point opening and closing perhaps, but this will give you uh, your maximum pressure. Now then, what, once you get there, once you get to 5.5, just leave it alone, continue the climb. Let's say we're climbing to uh, flight level 280. If you were to adjust this, this knob during that climb, you you risk setting it too high, and then what will happen is is that uh, the 5.5 will will stay as long as you're climbing quickly, but as soon as you level off at the top of the climb, you may see that the pressure drops back to 5.3 on the cabin uh, pressure gauge. The system just isn't that precise. So if you want your full, if you want your money's worth, if you want your 5.5 or very close to it, there's another way. Now, uh, an alternative method is to leave the cabin alone. In other words, there are two times you check it and two times you set it. You set it at the top of the climb. And you set it again at the top of the descent. Now what does this mean? This means that all throughout the climb that you're maintaining a 500 foot cabin all the way up to 130. B 
beyond that, the cabin pressure is 5.5 psi, and that's all it's going to get you, and the cabin will climb at uh, the rate of the aircraft. Once you set it at the top of the climb, we're, go we're going to talk about how you're going to set it, then you're not going to touch it again till the top of the descent. All right, so in order to s set uh, the cabin correctly at the top of the climb, we're, uh, we're down here at the, f the 500 foot mark. The white diamond is right here. We're going to slowly rotate that dial until the cabin VSI bump. When the cabin VSI begins to move ever so slightly upward, stop turning the knob. And ordinarily, that's going to be up here, uh, if you're going to flight level 280, that's going to be up here somewhere around 10, 9,500, somewhere around there. And of course in the window then it'll say 28 or thereabouts. Now what does this do? Well we said that anytime when you're down here at sea level and you're above 13,000, your cabin is giving you all it can give you, 5.5. Again, we're going to think about this in terms of what we command the cabin to do. We've commanded 500 feet, but above 13 we're against the 5.5 limit of the system so the cabin's going to climb and that would be normal. But below 13 that cabin should be at 500. What we want the cabin to do, what we want the system to do, is give us, once we get to the top of the climb, we want it to give us 5.4999999 and we do that by slowly rotating until the VSI bumps. When the VSI bumps it's an indication that the valve is opened and we've slightly backed off the 5.5. That now gives you the maximum benefit for the cabin. If you over rotate the knob the pressure is going to drop further. It could drop down to 5.3 and then you won't be getting your money's worth. So hold the cabin, leave it alone to the top of the climb, and then at the top of the climb slowly rotate the knob until it bumps, the VSI bumps, cabin VSI, and that will give you the desired pressure you want. Now, by all means observe the numbers and where the diamond is. It may not be exactly on the numbers, but uh, you'll have your 5.4999. Now at the top of the descent, same thing. Descent and maintain flight level 180. We're just going to take this knob and rotate it down to 500 feet above our destination field. Let's say it's sea level also. We're going to take it back down to right here. And that's all there is to it. And by the way, when you do it that way at the top of the descent, you won't feel any pressure change because the cabin's simply moving from 5.4 back up to 5.5. That's all. And that's all there is to work in the system. Two times to set it. Top of the climb and the top of the descent. And of course I promised to tell you the two times to check it. That's before takeoff and before landing. And there you have it. Well, this is Dick Rochford. I hope this has helped. If you have any questions, feel free to call. In the meantime, fly safely. Train often.